G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. Time for a quick update on my brewery. It's probably a little bit echoey in here. Laser cutters and extractors are running outside of this room, so I apologize if there's a whole bunch of humming in the background. But the brewery is in place. Brought one of my fridges from home, which, you know, obviously with the brewery not being there, didn't really need to be there. It was just sitting out on the deck. Um, it manages to open up all the way. Sorry about the sound, but you know, I can't be bothered with mics and all that stuff at the moment. It opens up all the way so I get nice, good, clean access. Um, as you can see down the side are all my barrels of grain. Um, but it's, it's, you know, I'm happy with it. It's slowly getting there. The, you can see the hole in the wall over here. <laughs> Moving that tap from the other side of that wall to this side wasn't as easy as I expected it to be. In fact, you know, I might need to get one of my friends who's a plumber to come out and help me with that. Um, I opened that up, opened up the wall on the other side, opened the wall on this side and had a look and bar getting up on the roof here, which is, you know, it's just a floating ceiling up here in the, in the kitchen here inside the warehouse. You know, it's a box built inside the warehouse. Easy to get up there. You can see the water pipes, everything. I might just need to cut that water pipe and then run it down the wall here on the inside rather than going down through the stud wall. I don't care, it doesn't need to be neat. It needs to be functional. We are in a warehouse after all, a manufacturing facility. It's not pretty here, it doesn't need to be pretty. It needs to be functional. And so I can cut that pipe, there's two taps actually. One just off screen to the left here and that one down there. If I can bring both of them onto this side that would be amazing because then I can put water in my HLT and water straight into the boil kettle which is over there. Um, last thing I need to do is move some of the um, exhaust fans and put a small range hood above that boil kettle that sits at the end here because you know it's a fairly rigorous boil and in a small room like this with no windows you know it fills up with steam pretty 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 bloody quickly so I might uh, put a small range hood there up to an extractor and then see if I can plumb that into, into the main extractor which extracts out for um, our lasers, extract out through that and then up through the ceiling and through the equipment and stuff there. Um, but we'll see. So far everything is connected. I haven't test run everything yet. The brewery hasn't been used for a while so I might need to strip all the plumbing and redo all of that but you know it's getting there i'm happy in another week or so i reckon i can put a brew on i want to do some work on the fridge on my um, stc 1000 which is what's used to regulate the temperature of the fridge so you know when i'm brew when i'm fermenting inside there i can keep the fridge at a constant you know 17 and a half 18 degrees 18 and a half and then you know towards the end um you know ramping up to you know 21 22 degrees to help get rid of that diacetyl uh, towards the end. I mostly brew pale ales and IPAs and stuff like that. I'm not a big uh, lager person which is you know, fermented at much lower temperatures. So I want to do some work on the SDC. I've got some housing boxes and stuff. Right now it's just a whole bunch of coils and cables all jerry-rigged together with expo exposed fittings and connections uh, which you know is not ideal. I you know I've brewed like that for years and years but you know whilst we're relocating things and making things look pretty Let's get that, uh, get those boxes sorted out. Um, that's about it for the moment. Pretty happy, you know, things are functional. <laughs> Hopefully next time we come back, we can see some taps in there. Actually, you know, I don't know actually. You know, that can only be done after the lockdown here in Victoria is uh, lifted and my friend can get out here to, to put those taps in. It's not considered an emergency situation. So, uh, you know, technically can't happen right now. Um, otherwise, you know, I might just get up there and go find some fittings and, you know, do a shit, do, do it yourself job. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. But it's getting there. The brewery is getting there. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch you next time. See ya.